Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about cereal rye and 10 reasons why you might wanna start thinking about planting cereal rye within your food plots. And this list is in no particular order. We are just gonna be talking about 10 reasons why you should think about planting cereal rye or what it's sometimes called field rye or rye grain, depending on where you're buying it from. 10 reasons why you should think about planting cereal rye in your food plots. And the first reason is a simple one, but also very important at the same time. And that's that by planting rye into your food plots, you're going to be adding diversity to your food plots. Whitetails crave diversity. So with whatever habitat we're working on on our property, we're trying to add diversity. That could be diversity within the cover, but in this case, we're trying to add diversity within our food plots. Depending on their nutritional needs on any given day, they might prefer one plant species over another. So the more diversity that you can add into your food plot, the more attractive it's going to be to the local deer herd. For example, if you have a perennial clover plot, you may have diversity within the plot depending on the different varieties of perennial clover in the plot but you can add diversity to that plot by broadcasting cereal rye into that stand, again, making it more attractive to the local deer herd. Moving on down the list, and, and we're not gonna be spending a whole lot of time on each individual point, but the next reason that you should be considering rye in your food plots is because it's very easy to grow. Rye is an extremely versatile seed. It'll grow practically anywhere. It's extremely tolerant of different pH levels, different soil types. So if you're somebody who's had trouble planting other types of food plots, whether that's soybeans, brassicas, clovers, you definitely should consider planting rye because it's very easy to establish. Every season when we're broadcasting our rye into our food plots, we end up spilling some rye while we're trying to fill up the spreaders and it hasn't mattered where we've spilled the rye, as soon as that rye hits the ground and receives moisture, it's germinated and started to grow. There was one year where we spilled a little bit of rye on our gravel driveway. It rained a few days later and it germinated and started to grow in our gravel driveway. So again, rye is an extremely versatile seed, and if you're somebody who's having a difficult time getting a food plot established, I strongly encourage you to look into cereal rye for your next food plot. The next reason that you guys should consider planting rye in your food plots is because it's a fairly inexpensive seed. Over the past year, and we've all felt it, the price of practically everything has increased. That includes everything that we need to plant a food plot. Seeds, lime, fertilizer, herbicide, everything has gone up, making it a lot more expensive to put in a food plot. Cereal rye has remained relatively inexpensive. I just called the grain mill that I had bought in the rye from this past season because I had forgotten what I had paid for it. And you can get a 50 pound bag of field rye or cereal rye for just over $20. So compared to other seed blends out there, especially those big buck on the bag blends that you see in the stores, cereal rye is one of the cheapest seeds you can find for your food plot. Along with being fairly inexpensive, the next reason that you should consider rye is because it's a great last minute seed. Life is busy guys and everyone's schedule is different. So depending on what you have going on from year to year, you might not have had time to put in your fall food plots or Maybe you did put in your fall food plots, but after checking on your plots around Labor Day, you realize that they're not coming in as well as you had hoped. And this is where rye comes in. Deer are more attracted to rye when it's younger. So if you're planting rye with the rest of your fall food plots in early August, by the time hunting season rolls around in October, the rye is not going to be nearly as attractive to the deer herd. However, if you are waiting to plant rye, you know, end of August, early September, your rye is going to be much more attractive to the deer herd when hunting season rolls around. So the timing of when you wanna be putting your rye down lines up perfect for those of you guys who, who might not have had time to put your fall food plots in, or, or maybe you're trying to fill in some bare spots of your, of your fall food plots that just did not come in the way you wanted to. Cereal rye is a great last minute seed that can really help salvage those underperforming plots. The next reason why you should think about putting rye down into your food plots is because rye is browse tolerant. If your food plots are a little smaller or, or maybe you're in an area with a, with a high deer density and you're planting something that is not browse tolerant, like you know brassicas, soybeans, you're gonna run the risk of having those food plots mowed down you know, before the season starts or, or, or maybe before the, the rut kicks in. 
And obviously that's not what you want. You wanna make sure that you have a food source on your property throughout the hunting season to ensure that the deer movement on your property remains consistent. So in those scenarios, if you're someone with smaller food plots or you're in an area with a high deer density, or, or even if the deer are just mowing your food plots down before the season starts, definitely consider throwing down rye because rye is very browse tolerant. The next reason that you should consider putting rye down in your food plots goes hand in hand with that last point, and that's that it makes a great nurse crop for those perennial food plots that you're trying to get established. If you're planting a perennial plot in the fall, a lot of times those crops are not going to get very tall, and that's because they're working on their root system. So they're putting a lot of energy into growing their root system before they put on a lot of growth above the ground. And this can be tough if, if you have a high deer density or a smaller food plot, because as those deer move in, they can really kind of mow that perennial plot down and really wipe out that food plot before it can ever get established. And this is once again where the rye comes in, but this time as a nurse crop. By planting the rye with your perennial plot, you're going to be taking a lot of stress off those perennial plants as the deer are browsing on that rye. After giving the deer herd something to browse on throughout the fall, winter, and into the spring, that perennial plot has had two growing seasons. And at that time, you can terminate the rye and you're left with a beautiful perennial food plot. The next reason that you guys should think about putting rye down in your food plots, we actually just touched on it, and that's that it provides a great late season food source. Unlike other food plot varieties that will go dormant after a hard frost, rye will continue to grow throughout the fall and into the winter months. Again, even in the winter where you get those warm spells, if the temperature increases to anywhere from 35 to 40 degrees, the rye is gonna continue to grow. Because of this, rye is the last crop in our food plot to stop growing in the fall and the first crop to start growing after the snow melts, making rye a great late season food source for the deer herd. The next reason that you might wanna start thinking about planting rye within your food plots is if you're somebody who's thinking about putting together a no-till program on your property. A very simplified explanation of a no-till program is you are always rotating different cover crops on your property, and you are seeding the next cover crop into the previous cover crop while at the same time terminating that existing cover crop, and doing so without ever turning the dirt over, or no-till. So an important part to any no-till program is you wanna make sure that you have a cover crop that not only will suppress weeds, but will also act as a mulch layer and protect the seeds that you have just seeded into that existing stand. Cereal rye is a great, and it might be the best winter cover crop when it comes to weed suppression and creating a mulch layer, and is a great addition to any no-till rotation. Throughout the spring, the rye grows very quickly, puts on a lot of biomass, and, and shades out a lot of that weed competition in your food plot. Once the rye starts to develop seed heads, and for us this is right around Memorial Day or early June, that's when you wanna broadcast the next cover crop into that existing stand of cereal rye. And then you want to terminate that stand of rye by smashing it down. And you can do this in a variety of different ways. You can use a crimper, you can use a cultipacker, you can use a lawn roller, you can use a heavy drag. You just wanna make sure that you are smashing that rye down and you're crushing the stem so that it, it is terminated and it's, it's not gonna stand back up. If you're worried about it, you can always also drive over it with a sprayer just to make sure that you, you have a 100 100% kill. But once that rye is terminated and it's laying flat, it's gonna do a number of different things. Not only is it helping protect that young seed, it's helping retain moisture within the soil. Think about when you're planting uh, your yard for the first time, a lot of times you'll spread straw to protect that seed and hold the moisture. Same thing with the rye. It's also keeping the soil a lot cooler, again, reducing the risk of having that soil dry out and those seeds dry out. Rye is a great cover crop on its own, but if you're somebody who's looking to start practicing no-till on their property, definitely consider planting rye in your food plots this fall. The next reason that you should think about putting rye down in your food plots is because it provides great fawning cover and great nesting cover the following season. When that rye really starts taking off in mid-May, late May, early June, that's around the same time that those does are dropping their fawns. And if you're in an area without a lot of great cover, that rye can really act as a safe haven and help protect those young fawns from the local predators. The final reason that you guys should think about putting rye down in your food plots is because it really helps you build organic matter in your soil. 
when we're taking soil tests, we're looking at a lot of different things, you know, whether that's the amount of nutrients that are available in the soil, the soil's pH, but we're also looking at the organic matter in the soil. The higher percentage of organic matter within your soil, the better your food plot is going to perform. And one of the ways that you can help increase the percentage of organic matter in your soil is by planting cereal rye as a cover crop in the fall. Remember, cereal rye puts on a lot of biomass when it grows throughout the spring. So whenever you end up terminating that stand and however you end up doing it, whether you're smashing it down or you're taking a brush hog to it, you are putting all of that organic matter back into the soil. And as you continue to plant rye year after year, you're gonna notice on your soil test, that you're gonna see a pretty significant increase in the percentage of organic matter in your soil. And so guys, those are the 10 reasons as to why you should think about putting cereal rye in your food plots. And I'm gonna throw in a bonus reason here at the end. And this is one of the reasons why I really like to put down cereal rye outside of all the other benefits. And that's because as a hunter, as a land manager, and more importantly, as a father, I can get my kids involved as well. Getting the next generation of hunters interested in the outdoors is extremely important. And one of the best ways to get anybody interested is by letting them help. My kids love to help plant food plots and the best seed that they can help put down and the easiest seed that they can help put down is cereal rye. So every year around Labor Day, we go out to the food plots and we put down hundreds of pounds of cereal rye. My son, he's been doing this for a couple years now. He's getting pretty good at it. And my daughter's old enough now to where she's carrying around a bucket of rye. She's not really spreading it around, mainly just dumping it all in one spot, but at least she's out there, she's helping, she's getting interested in the outdoors. But guys, those are the 10 reasons as to why you should think about putting rye down in your food plots. If you have any other reasons as to why you like planting rye, or if you have any questions, please drop those in the comment section below. I'll get back to those as soon as I can, and we will see you guys in the next video.